Justin Norman, I'm here with Shio Folowio. Um, for those of us who didn't join yesterday, we uh, are the two heads of the Flip podcast. And every episode, we do a retrospective conversation on that episode's topic. And uh, we've been gracious to be asked back again this year um, by VC for A for the second time and the second day, in fact, um, to give our, our brief retrospective conversation. And I know uh, you know, for those in East Africa, they're probably already in the club listening to us. So I think we'll make today quick because it's quite late. Um, but uh, one thing that that I want to talk about today, Shio, is just sort of um, the the fervor of the um, business angel community. I think it's definitely something that I have overlooked, um, you know, getting to meet some people. I met somebody who is trying to stimulate the business angel community in Kinshasa and just learning about how to develop that and then watching everyone talk about their res respective meetups and how they're trying to develop their little communities in each of their um, different cities is, is really a really great thing. Um, you know, and I, I, uh, I personally, you know, I've been on this personal crusade to get people to leave corporate and to go and work for, for startups. And maybe next year uh, the goal will be to find some business people and get them to invest in their first, um, their first, their first startups. Uh, or make their first angel investment. So um, I wanted to know what you thought about that. I mean, you, you're in Accra right now, you got to engage with the, the angel community there. And then also just from your perspective as an entrepreneur, obviously, I think some of your initial fu uh, funders way back in what was it 2015 were some angels. And I know you had um, different experiences in terms of the value that they brought to the table for you. So um, what's your perspective on, you know, all of these just little pockets of angel communities that are developing and the role that they can play in, you know, growing each respective uh, ecosystem from both, a, a, you know, human resources and capital resources perspective? Um, yeah, amazing. Amazing. I think it's, um, yeah, it, it excites me a lot, to be honest. One of the things I'm most excited about, I think even just this forum from last year um, to, to this year, Really seems to have grown a fair amount and um, lots and lots of uh, exciting conversations. The meetups were great. Um, can't remember the lady's name, but she was great from Cameroon, and they've started a fund from there. Um, the um, Africa Business Angels Network, and just hearing a little bit about what they're up to, and um, and I know that there's tons and tons of these pockets around. Um, so I think it's um, it's the um, you know, the first line, I guess, or maybe second line, you kind of have the founders um, and then you have the, 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 the second line of attack or defense, whichever way you want to look at it, um, of, of people who kind of are, again, um, driven primarily by um, a, a, a passion for, um, you know, what technology can do for founders, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then they end up kind of being the first charge into, into the big bad world um, with them by your side. And you, you don't really, as a, as a founder, like your, your angels are your buddies, you know, like they're kind yeah. of, um, you know, you can go and talk to them about everything. They've seen every, the, the journey from the beginning. They know that, you know, you're, you're ready to, to die for this. So they're, they're beside you, you know, it's not, um, it's not as adversarial um as sometimes with uh your institutional guys it can be and you, you can have those mentorship level relationships and um open doors and um all that kind of stuff so um, i think it's really important actually um somebody to having someone to go and cry to um and and that can work with you at that at that level so um, from a founder level i think it's really important and then even just on, on as an investor it's um you know something that I've noticed a lot of, and I really enjoy. It's kind of people, um, you know, maybe eight years ago, they're like, ah, oh, tech, yeah. Um, and now it's like, yo, my guy, how do I, how do we, <laughs> how do we get yeah. into this, how do we get into that? And it's, man, it's, it's, it's so good for um, the, the ecosystem because it's like, now things things don't seem as far-fetched, you know? Um, um, and then that, that, that kind of, yeah, starts going into all the little parts, right? And then, as you said, what do you say about getting the, you know, people working in corporates to go work in startups? Like, it's it's more convincing when your buddy tells you that they're invested in this company. You're like, oh, okay, they're a real thing. Maybe it makes sense for me yeah. to work there. Um, so it's the the angel community is like the kind of feet on the ground, you know, and I love that. Um, and one thing I want us to do as well um, next year, Justin, is if we can get ourselves um, traveling again. Um, it would be it would be cool to go and engage with a lot of the the communities around the continent um, in a more direct way. You know? Yeah, 
Yeah, and and I think you know one thing that we talk a lot about, right? It, it, it's one thing for there to be an angel community in Lagos, and now everyone wants to try to invest in the next flutter wave. But um, I think uh, when we do that trip next year, I'm I'm especially interested in the the sort of uh, off the beaten path cities, right? Where uh, there's a lot less happening, there's a, a lot less pace and velocity like there is in Nigeria, and, and how are people you know building from the ground up and you know putting their sweat blood, sweat, and tears into it. Um, that's the other thing that, that I think is exciting. And and for me personally, why I'm excited to do a bit more angel investing investing next year is it's like, it's their money, right? It, you know, institutional investors, I mean, obviously they want to raise another fund, but at the end of the day, if they lose the money, it's a, you know, it's a different story. And so just to, to compel, you know, these guys to, 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 to get more involved or to work, you know, to, to, to back themselves and to, to help uh, support the investments because it's their money is a, is a particularly um exciting thing for me um yeah. did you find Actually, or, go on yeah i had a question for you because you've um been involved in these kind of um, um and we're seeing the um uh, what do you call it like rise in these kind of um i don't know what you call them the syndicated and rolling yeah. the kind of things right um and kind of fractionalizing investments where people can participate um with with smaller check sizes that's like one of the most fun things to me by the way like um i think that's something that should not only exist or it doesn't only but i, I like to see that even in later stages I, I think it's it's to get people even at um you know we, we buy stocks right and so the more liquid you can make these um investments even at the later stage is uh, i think like quite exciting because um for me it's you know Again, it's not. I don't. I don't want five angels. I want you know five hundred. You know, like, yeah. and and I think that's as a founder, it's a very exciting prospect to to have um, yeah. you know, people that believe in you but might not be able to, um, you know, put put together however much money. Um, you just want to put a little bit in, um, and and be part of the story. Um, you know what we're seeing in NFTs and DAOs and this like community aspect that I think angel investing is actually very, um, yeah, yeah, aligned to. So how has been how's your experience been kind of um I think with Rally Cap, I'd be interested to kind of hear that as well. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm so I'm an investor in, in Rally Cap and I think that what founders will tell you is the the reason why they take a check from Rally Cap is because, you know, Hayden, the guy who who is the founder, will talk about the community due diligence model a lot. So he can pull in different people who, you know, have a specific type of expertise in this fintech category or subsector or whatever, um, in a specific market. Um, and that really helps from a deal decisioning perspective and a deal flow perspective. But then also post investment, I mean, a lot of people who are, you know, working at companies who are prospective partners who have walked, you know, uh, the road that that these founders are are walking, and you know, to get to sort of tap into a, a really great like operator practitioner led community of people, I think is really valuable for um, for for those communities. And yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I yeah, definitely you just said. What did you just say? It sounded like a pitch. What? <laughs> oh, was it a pitch? <laughs> it's had a lot of big words. <laughs> no, it's not a pitch. Um, all right, it's maybe it's a pitch, whatever. Um, but no, I, I the point the point is you can tap into you know you can get access to a lot of people who you know have similar comparable expertise in different markets, right? And 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 with skin in the game too, right? And and I suppose that's the value of any angel community is 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 that same piece. And you know, for me. And, and I also, you know, I, I definitely, um, you know, there was there was some talks earlier today about, you know, just education for for angel investors. And sometimes when I look at that from afar, I'm like, you know, well, we know, uh, you know, the sort of basic terms of, you know, a safe or whatever, like the, the that sort of stuff is, is getting quite easy. But um, one of the things that I, I probably undervalue in, in talking about it or thinking about it, but that is true for me and I suspect for a lot of other people is like there's a, a different... Um, um, experience altogether of having the sort of muscles to make an investment or to make a decision. And, and I think a valuable thing for me from a community perspective is just to get to see a lot of deals and to see how people are deliberating and the questions that they're asking and why they like this company or why they don't. And I can sort of outsource the decision making a little bit or to try to understand without actually having to make any decisions myself initially. Um, and so that when I, you know, begin to gather more courage uh, to, to make more direct checks. I, I think I feel, I feel a little bit more experienced just having sat on the sidelines and watching firsthand what's happening. And, and I definitely think, um, 
that's you know a really underrated or at least from my perspective something that i've undervalued is the 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 community and the network not just um you know in deal flow access or whatever but uh in like just thinking through how do you actually make an investment decision because yeah. it really is a different muscle that you're flexing yeah. than than anything else yeah for sure that it's like um the the confidence around it um and i think that's such a good um yeah, it's a good thing we don't talk about enough that the confidence to actually, um, yeah, make make those kinds of calls and um, with your yeah, own money, with your own money, man. So I think I yeah. think that's a good one, and it's also um, yeah, forums forums like this um, are also super interesting and great to kind of be a fly on the wall, um, you know, with all these uh, you know great founders, funders, angels, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You you. you um, a lot of that confidence comes also from just being involved and, and uh, listening. Um, and yeah. learning. Um, always cool to be a part. Yeah, definitely. So I think, um, you know, this time next year, my, my hope and, and certainly my expectation is I, I, I'd imagine that, you know, the velocity and the pace of the venture ecosystem and, and deals are going to continue to increase. And, you know, hopefully next year we'll, we'll actually be fully, fully post COVID and, more than ever before, we'll have more angels from more markets from not just across the continent, but from around the world getting involved. Um, and I think and that Justin, diversity. Of, and, huh? and next year, Justin is no longer going to be an armchair commentator. He's going to be in the beginning. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I, 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 uh, been on the sidelines a little bit too long, just, uh, dipping my toes in and, and, you know, talking about it enough, but, um, staying busy. Uh, from that perspective. So Shio and I will be on the road. So we hope to see you on the road sometime next year. And then towards the end of next year, you know, uh, some, some, some more experience under my belt. Let's, let's put it that way. Inshallah. Cool. Any last words or uh, should we leave it there? Cool. For me. Well, thanks again. Thanks again to, to VC for a, for, uh, for having us. Um, I'm around in Cape Town. I know a lot of people have reached out already uh, who are coming down for Africa Arena next week or whatever else, just the summer. So reach out to us. We'd love to get uh, in touch and see some more people. Uh, and you can find us also at The Flip, uh, at The Flip Africa or The Flip Africa. Um, that's Shio. I'm Justin. And uh, we'll turn it over now to Rebecca and Ben for uh, final words from this conference. Nice. Thanks, guys. Uh, great having you back. Rebecca, there Hi. you are. Hey. Just Here we home. are. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. He's <laughs> gone. Justin, oh, there he is. Hello. I have, I, I've How actually met Justin in real life. Yes. You know, you were, you were one of the, the first people, you know, I had, I had, when I started the podcast, I don't know why anyone ever agreed to do an interview and then when you said yes when you were in johannesburg and we did an interview i really was like all right i'm doing i'm onto something here it, it's a great, I was, I was great starstruck. it's a great podcast if you're not subscribed to flip africa you should be um the, the guests are fantastic the insights are right on um some great founders and ecosystem builders on that um yeah on the podcast great i love it thank you justin yeah thank you